I divide things into thinking about the risks and the efficacy. And I'm just, the risks I happen to have listed are for stratospheric sulfates, but there's lots of other technology. But the risks to me, in the way I'm thinking about it, are the things that are kind of the direct side effects of the way you do, the particular way you might do the radiative forcing. So if you put sulfate aerosols in the stratosphere, for example, some of them are going to rain down the troposphere, and they're going to add to air pollution and kill people. And in fact, myself and Steve Barrett at MIT are calculating how many people uh, will be killed.